It's a new phase for the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited as it transits into a fully commercial entity. It all started with the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act. This new dawn was ushered into Nigeria's oil and gas industry on August 2021, when the president signed the Petroleum Industry Bill into law, making it the historic Petroleum Industry Act 2021 after two decades of dashed hopes. The meaning of this is that all our transactions will now be on the basis of the Petroleum Industry Act's provision and also the memorandum and article of association of the companies, all other enabling uh, regulatory and institutional requirements that we need to put in place to make sure it works. So we're already in the NMPC limited situation. We have transferred our assets to the NMPC limited. We have also transferred our book of accounts into the NMPC limited. So the company is real. It is here, it is operating in the best of form. And we're, of course, it's going to evolve more and more until we become IPO ready by the mid of next year. Established in 1977 is the largest asset holder within the Nigerian oil and gas industry. There have been several efforts to get to commercialize the company as the government seeks efforts to ensure it runs efficiently. The new identity means it has the same standing as global oil giants like Russia's Gazprom, Brazil's Petrobras and Saudi Arabia's Aramco. The idea is that the company will evolve as a profitable commercial entity and declare dividends to its over 200 million shareholders. The devil is still in the detail. The shareholding formula, how it pans out, what does the 200 million shareholders mean? what belongs to other tiers of government apart from the federal government, MOFI, Ministry of Finance Incorporated and Ministry of Petroleum Affairs, all of those issues are still in the air. But for us, the right step has been taken, Mr. President. Going forward, the new company will now be regulated by the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority and the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, in line with the provisions of the Companies and Allied Matters Act. Meanwhile, the successful emergence of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited Company as a commercially driven and independent entity is receiving commendation from some analysts. According to the Chief Executive Officer of the Center for Promotion of Private Enterprises, Dr. Muda Yusuf, the country stands to benefit tremendously from the new company if there is no political interference on its operations. It's a very significant milestone in the history of the oil and gas industry in Nigeria. Uh, for me, this is also likely to be one of the major legacies of the present administration. Because it's now, we now have a company, an NPC uh, incorporated or whatever, that will now be independent, to be autonomous, and to be able to function within the framework of a proper corporate organization, you know, uh, and if you look, there are examples around the world. Saudi Aramco, uh, I think, is the latest of such examples. Saudi Aramco now is the most valuable company in the world, with a value of about $2.43 trillion. That shows the kind of value that you can get if you have the right kind of legal framework for a company like the NMPC to make it independent and to make it autonomous. That will be able to get a lot more value. And I'm looking uh, forward to a situation where there will be minimum political interference in the new NMPC. Minimum interference by the political actors, minimum interference by the bureaucracy. But that is the only way it can earn the kind of credibility and the confidence of investors. I'm also looking forward to a situation where the NMPC will be listed not just on the Nigerian stock exchange, even on the international stock exchanges.